everyone. Happy Monday. I am sitting here in my unmade bed. I have no makeup on my face. My hair needs to be washed. Um, and it's been a day. As you guys know, I've been uploading videos every day since summer has started and I absolutely love it. And unfortunately, I didn't have a video for today at first because I was supposed to be coming home from Palm Beach last night and then essentially our flight got overbooked. And so they put me in a hotel last night and then I flew out um, this morning. And so I had to wake up at like 5 a.m. And then I had to drop Joey off at the airport. So that's always fun. Anyways, I wanted to sit down and film a video without makeup, super real, super chill but I could ramble about way too much, so I thought I'd do a little Q&A. So I went on Twitter and I asked you guys to tweet me questions and we can just have a little conversation. Um, let me know if you guys like this type of video where I'm just literally like, like my bed's just not made. Like I, like, and I have this red spot on my forehead because I was wearing a hat earlier and it like pressed against my forehead. So, but you know, that's life. So if you're not following me on Twitter, make sure to do so so you can be involved in the next Q&A. Uh, my Twitter is at Danielle Carolyn. Rachel asks, is your brother single? He actually is, ladies, and he just got his braces off. His name is Freddy. He loves long walks on the beach. No, I'm just kidding. How do you cope not seeing Joey every day? It can get tough sometimes because Joey, Joey's, oh God, please don't let me cry. I don't want to cry, I've already cried enough today. Joey's a really important person in my life and he's also one of my best friends. So it's hard not seeing your best friends every day. Like one of my friends, she's in Virginia for two weeks and I haven't been able to see her and it's killing me. So, I mean, we FaceTime a lot um, and I'm getting to see him in a couple weeks. I'm going to visit him in Canada, which will be fun. But I keep myself busy, honestly, and it, it honestly works out well because we're both really busy so when we do get to hang out we really appreciate the time that we have together but there's definitely days when I'm just like running errands or like doing something and I'm like I wish Joey was here to like hang out with me or make me laugh or like when I got stuck at the airport last night with him like it was way more fun because he was there like it was just you know what's your best high school memory one feeling that I absolutely loved during high school was the feeling right before you know when we did a musical or a play and all of us were backstage like hugging each other saying break a leg and we were all so nervous and we heard people starting to come into the theater and like everyone just has this like super like adrenaline and excitement and nervousness and we're all just like bonding and like you got this girl like you got this like I'm I'm so proud of you like break a leg like that is some of the best feelings ever like just being like a troop together and the other feeling memory that I loved from high school was whenever I'd be in the stands at a sports game or something and I'd start leading a cheer and everyone would follow along and we're all just like cheering on our teams together and everyone's just like having fun with it and like truly being spirited Oh, that's like some of the best memories. Who was the last person you texted and what did you say? I texted Joey, surprise, surprise. And I said, yes, we found her a lovely dress because he knew that my mom and I were going dress shopping today because my aunt's getting married. Um, so my mom needed a dress for the wedding. How are you feeling right now? I'm feeling just bleh. The weather's been kind of sucky lately. It's just been very like overcast and sometimes rainy and I just, I, I feel overwhelmed and it's like a good overwhelm. Like I've got lots of traveling happening and Joey came and surprised me and I don't know, but I'm just feeling kind of like empty right now. I think it's because I just dropped Joey off at the airport. Literally almost all of my best friends are out of town right now. One of them's in town, but she just got her wisdom teeth taken out. Um, and I'm just feeling bleh. Um, but I leave to go to Illinois on Wednesday for my aunt's wedding. I'm actually the maid of honor in the wedding, so I'll definitely do like a vlog of some sort. But I don't know how great the Wi-Fi is going to be, so I don't know if I'll be able to vlog every day because I feel like it'll take forever. But I'm just feeling bleh. And like, I like beat myself up about it, but I realized that like, I tweeted this today. Life isn't always sunshine and rainbows. Like, you literally cannot be happy 100% of the time. Like, you, you physically can't you mentally can't like you have the, as I say the, there has to be rain to have sun like, you have to know what feeling sad is like or feeling just gross or feeling weak or whatever it might be to know what feeling good feels like so I just sometimes don't give myself a break and I'm like oh like why am I in a bad mood today I need to get up I need to film a video and I wanted to sit down and film a video it's kind of therapeutic for me and I just like to be real with you guys honestly um clearly <laughs> but I'm gonna be okay with it. I have a lot to do before I leave, but I'm just gonna take a shower, 
watch one of my favorite movies, Bachelorette's on tonight and, and chill. What would you do if all the watermelon in the world disappeared? That's like not even okay to say. So I'm just gonna pretend that you never even said that because you know how much I love watermelon. <laughs> Do you have a Tampa meet and greet before you leave for college? Yes, I really, really want to. I'm from Tampa, Florida and a lot of you guys live here as well. And I truly want to do a meet up here in Tampa before I go to college to kind of say goodbye to a ton of you guys and get to meet some of you that I haven't met yet. I'm just trying to figure out dates because like it's really hard because people that live here might be on vacation and I'm out of town a lot. So it's just, I'm trying to figure it out, but it will happen, I promise. What's your all-time favorite movie? I have a couple, but the first one that comes to mind is The Other Woman. That movie is so funny, so good. I also really like Just Go With It. I like Crazy Stupid Love. I'm a, I'm a chick flick girl. I love Bride Wars. I just love all those kinds of movies. Do you plan to create a clothing line sometime in the future? Yes, 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 yes. You know me so well, that is on my radar and I don't want it to be like a super expensive brand. I want it to be something that's like affordable, but like trendy, honestly kind of like Forever 21, but like maybe a little nicer, I don't really know, but it's definitely in my mind. What is your favorite thing about Joey? <laughs> um, my favorite thing about Joey is like he'll literally take any situation and make it fun, um, turn a bright side to it. Like there's been countless times, even just this past week when like something would happen and he's like, it's okay, like we'll just do this instead or like, he just never like sobs about something or gets upset or he just like, he goes, okay, what's next? Let's, what are we gonna do now? What will you be majoring in in college? I'm majoring in business as of now, but like at University of Georgia, you um, don't even get into the business school until your junior year, so it could change. What is the most embarrassing thing that's happened to you? I don't really get embarrassed easily. Like honestly, like I just embarrass myself on purpose sometimes, but this is probably my most embarrassing moment that at least I can think of. So my freshman year, my first semester, um, so that's the baby Danielle, you know, like nervous, new school, like I'm sitting in silent study hall. Think of it, I'm sitting in the library in silent study hall and there's like 50 to 60 other people, upperclassmen, lowerclassmen, people in my grade, people that are seniors, like whatever it may be. And I'm on my computer. So I'm on my computer and I was searching something. I was doing homework or whatever. And you know, like when like things pop up, like little ads or whatever, like while you're on the computer, like searching something, like an ad will pop up and be like, congratulations, you won this or like whatever it is. So somehow my volume is full blast on my little Asus computer thing. And a strawberry shortcake little ad pops up and it goes, Welcome to Strawberry Shortcake. Click play to start playing. And I mean, it was so loud. Everyone turned their heads at me and I was like, oh my God, everyone probably thinks that I'm playing Strawberry Shortcake games right now. Like it was just so funny. And I literally was like, oh my God, oh my God. And I like shut my computer. Like I didn't know what to do. I just shut it. And the proctor like looked over at me and she's like, Ugh. it was just, that was an embarrassing moment for me. What's the best advice to people who are still in high school? My best advice, and it sounds cliche, but it just is so true. Be yourself, don't worry about impressing other people, don't worry about dressing like other people, just do what makes you happy and people will be attracted to that and people that are like you will find you. Like it will just naturally happen. How do you edit your Instagram pictures? I'll probably do like an in-depth video on this. I've done it before, but you guys always ask still. Um, usually I'll take a picture on my phone and then I'll go on to Visco, V-S-C-O, the app, and I use the filter A6. That's my favorite. So that's all for the questions that I'm going to answer today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Sorry I got a little emotional at one point. It's just, I've been emotional today, but I still wanted to film a video because it's just nice to talk to you guys and you guys are my Dan fam. Like I'll tell you guys everything. I love you guys so much. Thanks so much for watching. And if you have a video request, please comment them down below because I'm gonna do a little bit of pre-filming before I go on vacation. Um, but I love you guys so much. I know I already said that and I will see you guys tomorrow for my next video. Bye guys.